Hello friends, welcome to IBPS guide. Myself Ravi Prakasa. Today is day 48. Application sums, time and work, basics. Five, ten questions we are going to take. Okay. So please watch the video entirely because only then you'll be able to understand the moderate and hard level questions. Okay. So total ten questions we are going to take. So please watch the video entirely and also please go through these two video day one and day two video because these two video will help you to solve the for problems faster this will help you to make your speed faster let us and our mission is SBIPO 2019 let us see the first question what it is saying so before going to the first question I will give you a very brief introduction about time and work what we are going to method we are going to follow okay in the previous classes videos I have talked about time and work and what it means but still here I'll give you a brief introduction Suppose A does a work in X days and B work does a work in Y days. So together they will, this is X days, I'll denote by D, Y I'll denote by D, days I'll denote by D. So total will work is how much? Product of these two. So the efficiency will be Y, this will be efficiency of B will be X. Okay. Now in how many days A and B together can do the work? So it will be product by their efficiency, sum of their efficiencies. That is, this is the total work. Okay. This is the LCM of these two. So A plus B will be the days they will take to complete the work. Okay. Now let us take question number. Let us see this with an example. Suppose A can do it in 5 days and B can do it in 10 days. So LCM of these two will be 10. So efficiency 10 divided by 5 will be 2. 10 divided by 10 will be 1. So together they can do it how many days? Total work by their sum of the efficiency that is 3. That is 3 1 by 3 days. Okay. So hope you have understood the concept. Now let us see the first question. What it is saying is, A can do a work in. So what it is saying is, A can do a work in 25 days. That is 25, and B can do it in 20 days. Okay. So let us take the LCM of both of them. So what will be the LCM? Take the bigger number. What is the difference between five, four times five is already there. So we'll take four. So LCM will be hundred. This will be four. This will be five. You have got the efficiency of A and B total work is 100 okay now they started the working work together after five days of the work B left the job job okay so they work together for how many days five days five plus four is nine into five will give you how much they worked for five days that is 45 what is the remaining work 100 minus 45 that is 55 by the sum of who B left who is remaining a so divided by his efficiency what will be it so 1 times 1 carry 3 3 by 4 13 3 by 4 days where it is it is in 4 okay let us go to question number 2 what it is saying is Rajesh can do a work in 20 days so Rajesh is here he can do it work in 20 days he works alone for 4 days and Yuva alone finishes the remaining work in 12 days so let the efficiency of Rajas is R. I'll show you this very special method. You have not seen this method in any videos. So mo most important thing is in this method which I have been I will use is that work is constant. Okay, the amount of work is constant. So let us assume the efficiency of Rajas is R. He completes the work in twenty. So total work is this much. He works alone for four days. This will be equivalent to four R and Yuva alone finishes the remaining work in 12 days. So Yuva's efficiency is y into 12. Now let us find the value of y is to r is to y. This will be 20 r, this will be 4 r, this will be 12 y. This will be how much? 16 r is equivalent to 12 y. Ratio will be r by y is equivalent to 3 by 4. How many days taken by Rajesh and Yuva together can complete the work? So r efficiency is 3. So 3 into 20 this is the total work how many days taken by Rajesh and Yuva together so the sum of their LCC LCM that is 4 plus 3 is 7 that is 60 by 7 this will be how much 8 what is the remaining 4 by 7 days where it is it is in 3 okay let us go to question number 3 what it is saying is A can complete 3 fourth of the work in 6 days and B can complete 2 seventh of the work in 4 days. Okay. 
then in how many days A and B together will complete the work. So I'll tell you a formula before going to this procedure because this type of problem can be easily solved using formula. What it says is suppose M1 main work for D1 days and the work is the amount of work they do is W1. So this will be equivalent to the DM2 main it takes D2 days and W2 amount of work they have done. So this thing will be equal. So we are going to apply that only. So let us take A to B. Efficiency of A to B A complete in 6 days. How much work is completing? 3 fifth. Now what it is remaining is B can complete 2 seventh of the same work in B can complete in 4 days. How much? 2 seventh. Okay, 2 by 7. So this will be how much? 2 times this will be 2. This will be 2. Okay. Now A by B is how much? 7 comes here, 5 will go up and 5 will come here. Okay. Now what it is saying is then in how many days A and B together can complete the work. So what will be the work is? Now if you see A could complete uh, 3 fifth of the work in how many days? Total work is how much? How much work they complete? A's efficiency is 7 into 6. Now he completes one work in how much? This is the value entire work. So 3 by 5. This will be 2 times. This will be 10. 70 is the total work. Okay. Now total work. Now how, what they are asking how many days A and B together could complete the work. What you have to do is divide by the efficiency that is 12. So by 12 how much will be? 12. 10 by 12. Okay. So this will be 5. This will be 6. 12 5 by 6. So it will be 5, 5 by 6. Okay, 12, 5, 10, 60. So 10 by 12, that is 5, 5 by 6. Where it is? It is in C. So let us read question number 4. What it is saying is A, B, C can do a piece of work in 15 days, 18 days and 24 days respectively. All of them started the work together. After 5 days, B and C left the work. Then in how many days A alone could do the remaining work? Okay, so efficiency of A is 15. D is 18 and C is 24. Let us get the LCM of these three. So what will be 15, 18 and 24 will be divided by 3 that is 5 it will be 6, 8. So it will be 5, this will be 3, this will be 4, okay. 6, 5 is 30, 33 is 90, 94 is 360. It will be how much? 2, 4. This will be 20, here it will be 360 divided by 24, 12 2 times, this will be 30, 15, okay. So I've got the efficiency of ABC. Now let us read further. All of them started the work together and after 5 days, B and C left the work. So together they worked for how many days? 5 days. So 20 plus 24 is 44, 44 plus 5 is 49, plus 5 is 10 is 59. So 59 into 5, 5, 4 carry 25, 29, okay. So 360 minus 295 is how much? 65. B left the work. Who is alone doing the work? A. What is this efficiency? 24. So let us get it. How much it will be? 24. 2 times 48. So 2. What is the remaining? 48 plus 2 is 50. 50 plus that is 17 by 24. Oh, no need to convert this. It is given 65 by 24. So answer would be 02. They have done the work easy for us. Now question number 5, A and B together can do a work in 12 days, B and C can do a work in 6 days and C and A could do a work in 10 days. So let us take the LCM of them. What will be? So it will be 60, here it will be 5, this will be 10 and this will be 6. So this is the efficiency. Now what they are asking? In how many days C alone could complete the work? So you have to find the efficiency of C. Now if you add all of them, A plus B plus C, this entire thing, this will be 2 times A plus B plus C, this is equivalent to 10 plus 5 is 15, plus 6 is 21 by 2, A plus B plus C value is 21 by 2. Now if you know what they are asking C, so let us substitute the value of A plus B that is 5 plus C is equal to 21 by 2, so C will be how much? 21 by 2 minus 5, so that is 11 by 2 is the efficiency of C, okay. In how many days C alone will do the work? What is the amount of work? 60, 11 by 2, okay. 
so that is 120 by 11 so it will be how much 120 by 11 that is 2 let us go to question number 6 what it is saying a b c alone can do a work in 18 days a plus b plus c can do a work in 18 days so it is single a is 18 b is 30 and c is 24 so let us take the lcm what will be 6 18 30 24 6 3 times this will be 5 times this will be 4 times now 5 4 is 20 23 is 60 60 into 6 is 36 360 so this is 20 this is 12 this is 360 divided by 24 this will be 15 so what further it is saying is they all started the work together and after five days we left the work so let us see how much it will be you have done in previous problem this was how much 12 okay so let us calculate 20 plus 2 is 22 32 32 plus 5 is 37 47 47 in how many days they work for 5 so into 5 so it will be how much 5 3 kd 20 235 okay so let us subtract it here it will be how much 2 here it will be how much 125 okay so this is the value of the remaining work what it is further saying is B left the work and C left the work 8 days before the completion of the work so 8 C left the work 8 days before the completion of the work so let us assume that the C worked till the end of the work he left before 8 days now he's let us assume that he is taking working till the end of the work so what you'll have to do is multiply 8 with what is the efficiency of C that is 15 that is how much 8 10 j 80 120 so it will be 120, 5, 4, 2. So 245 is the. So what we have here is 245. Okay. So 245 divided by the efficiency of B left the work. Who is doing the work? C. C left the work 8 days. So who is doing A and C? What is the efficiency? 20 plus 15 is 35. So what will be divided by? To be divided by 7 times this will go by 7 how many times let us do it 5 7 4 or 5 9 this will be 7 so this is the value of 7 so initial how much it was it is after 5 days so plus 5 that is 12 so value would be 6a so let us go to question number 7 Q can do a piece of work in 7, 14 days. Q is 50% more efficient than C. So Q by P, let us assume 100 is, Q P is 100, Q is 50% more efficient, that is 150, and this will be 3 by 2. So Q can do a piece of work in 14 days. So into 3, that is 14 into 3, and Q, then what it is asking is how many, this is the total work. He can do it in 14 into his efficiency. In how many days half the work is completed? Okay. Half of this will be how much? This will be 7 into 3. That is 21 is the work when both are working simultaneously. Simultaneously means together. 3 plus 2 is 5. This will be how much? 4. 21 by 5. So the answer would be 7D. So question number 8. So yes, this is Ravi, myself and Manoj together can do the work in 15 days okay so Ravi and Manoj can do a work in 15 days so Ganesh can do the same work in 40 days okay so let us get the LCM of them so let us take the larger number what is the common 3 into 5 5 is common 3 is not so 4 in 40 into 3 is 120 this will be how much 8 this will be 8 and this will be how much 3 so efficiency of Ganesh is 3 what it is saying further is Ganesh is twice efficient than Ganesh so Ravi is Ganesh twice that is 6 uh, efficiency of Ravi is 6 what is the efficiency of Manoj this is Ravi plus Manoj is 8 if you subtract Ravi from here Manoj will come out to be 2 ok so find the time taken by Manoj to complete the work so total work is 120 so Manoj is 2 so it will be 60 so value would be 1 So this question number 9 is a homework for you.
please try to solve the problem on your own and give the solution in the comment section because if you have understood the concept then only you'll be able to solve the problem and you will know that your concept is clear okay this is a good question so please try to attempt it and we do see your solution and see how many of you are giving the right answer let us go to question number 10 so this is the last question what it is saying is a can complete two third of the work in six days a and b together could complete the work in six days so a could complete a work in six days how much work it is completing two third and if a and b together could complete the work in six days then find the work is one find the time required by c so this six and six will get cancelled and a by a plus b will come here then that will be how much two third so a is what two b is what one so what it is saying then find the time required by c who is twice efficient than b so c is twice efficient than b that is two. efficiency of c is two what it is saying is then find the time required by c so total work is how much a plus b into six so a plus b is three into six is the total work divided by efficiency of c that is two so it will be three nine so your value would be ten nine so hope you have watched the entire video if you enjoyed the video and found it knowledgeable give it a like and please comment how you feel about the videos express your views and do share with your friends on all the social media platforms like facebook and whatsapp group also so that your friends may know that we are creating videos for them and do subscribe to the ibps guide channel so bye bye see you in the next session